So now that I've used my quantize tool, my time quantize tool, to get uh, all of my notes lined up with the grid, I still want to turn my attention now to the other end of the note because the quantize will line up the beginning of the note with the grid, but it doesn't do anything to the end of the note. So I still want to get all of my note lengths the same. So I can do this um, in my editor window. Um, and to do this, for example, let's say with my kick drum and my snare drum, I want all of those sounds to be two columns long. Okay, that's what we would call an eighth note. So uh, I'm going to do a couple things. First of all, I'm going to go up to my drop down menus and under edit, sorry, uh, under edit, I want to make sure that I have this selected snap to grid. So I'm going to choose snap to grid. And now when I move my notes around, it's going to help make sure that I get everything in the grid line. So I want uh, all of my kick drum to be two columns long. So if I put my cursor right at the end, you see this double arrow pop up. And I'm just going to click and make it two columns. And I'm just going to go all the way down and click on these notes. And extend it so they're all exactly the same length. That looks pretty good. And now I want to do the same thing with my snare drum. Make all of them two columns long. And then finally, I want to go up here to the symbols. And I want to make all of these one column long. Uh, now, if I look at this, I can see that pretty much all of them are really short. So I'm going to click above this first note and drag across so that I can select all of those symbol notes. So now they're all highlighted. Now, if I come down to this first one and click and drag, you can see that the length of all of them are changing. So that may not fix all of them exactly, but at least gets it closer. So then I just come down and make final adjustments to get all of these one block long. Now, if I look at the recording now, I have everything, all the note links are even, the beginning of every note's lined up, and now I can go back and listen to it. That sounds really good. Now, the last thing I want to show you is that finally, even after I get it recorded, if I decide that I want some different sounds, So let's say maybe I want this symbol sound instead. I can click and drag and select all of these symbol notes and then click on the first one and just drag it up and change it to this symbol sound. So if I like that symbol sound better, I can leave it. And I can even change my snare drum sound. If I like that other snare drum sound better, again, I'm just going to highlight all the snare drum notes here and drag it up. And I can listen to that. <coughs> and 
And then finally with the kick drum. If I decide I want to use a different sound, I always could. Again, just by selecting all the notes and drag it to a different sound. Yeah, I don't like that. So I'm going to put it back on the original. And now I have my finished product done. 